When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. That's why I don't sing in the choir. <laughs> I was born in October 1916. Then I'm a hundred years old now. Living a meaningful life is different with everybody. I'm not a preacher. I couldn't get up on the platform and, and give a message. That isn't my work. The Lord gave me hands with no arthritis. So I do a lot of sewing. I've been given a talent, and I make use of it. I wake up early, between two and five, some someplace in there, and I get up and start it at the sewing machine because I love it. My mother, she was a very good seamstress. She made everything that uh, Esther and I wore, my sister and I. So I learned mostly from my mother, and then everything I made didn't turn out right. Come on now, come on. But that's the, the story of learning. If everything went perfect, you really wouldn't learn. There you go. The pastor said to me one Wednesday night, I've got a job for you if you'll do it. He said, I want you to make 180 something for little girls before Christmas. Then I found out that Samaritan's Purse have these Christmas boxes, shoe boxes that they fill. And I got to thinking about what would I do for a little girl? I decided then to make the little dresses and I think they're turning out pretty good. You are number 33. You will be 101 in October. Right. If the Lord keeps me here. Otherwise, I'll be in glory. My husband and I had two children, Eileen the oldest, and then along came Jeannie. And my Eileen, that's her picture there, the Lord called her home in 2011. Harvey had a massive heart attack and died April 10th of 1952. He was 36. He was a wonderful husband. I miss him even today. Never got married. You know, there's something about touching someone that you're in love with. And that same kind of touch does not come from anybody else. But when traveling days are over, not a sorrow, not a sigh. I don't know when the Lord is going to call me home, so I keep going all the time. You have no idea where all those dresses are going to end up. I wouldn't even guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it yet in my mind. Plane landing and their little hands out for a box. Then they open them up and they just, they're just so thrilled. I can just picture them putting them on right over there, whatever they've got on. <laughs> God bless each one. We pray in your name, amen. There's gonna be a lot of happiness. 
and I'm glad I'm a part of it. <laughs>